Aw oh, yeah, Rivers here with some cool tech. And today we're gonna take a look at the Minix Neo X6 Android Mini PC. This is a media player that you hook up to your big screen TV and allow you to run Android on your TV and install apps for media and entertainment. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at this media player. So you can see it's got an external antenna for the Wi-Fi 802.11n. It's got plenty of ports for expansion, including USB ports and an SD card slot. So on the back, you've got a headphones jack, HDMI, Ethernet port, and your power port. And on the side, you've got a power button, SD card slot that works with cards up to 128 gigabytes, and two USB 2.0 ports for expansion or external storage. Inside the box are included everything you'll need to run the X6, including an infrared remote control, power supply, HDMI cable, and USB cable for updating. So the remote is very basic, it just lets you toggle around and it's got back home menu buttons as well as volume and settings and power buttons. Other remotes like these are available so that you can have an air mouse function which makes it a lot easier to navigate inside certain apps, for example web browsing. Now let's go ahead and hook up the X6 to the big screen TV and see how it works. So the first thing you'll notice is it's got its own custom user interface that's to work with a remote control that comes with it so you can toggle around and get to where you want to go. This works great for media playback apps like Netflix and XBMC which is a special media playback app that is made to you using a toggle remote like this one. So here's what you'll see when you start up the device. Just select the default launcher. I actually added another launcher on there already but I'm selecting the Minix launcher in this case, and now you can use the remote to just arrow around and get where you need to go. And this works great for most of the included apps on here, and you can just toggle over to the app that you're looking for and select it and you're ready to go. Since this is running regular Android 4.4 KitKat, you can install most apps out of the Play Store. So here I've installed Nova Launcher to give it more of a standard Android look. Plus this is nice and fast and smooth. I'm using a wireless computer mouse for navigation right now, but you could also use an air mouse remote control if you wanted to have the same setup on a big screen TV. So here I've ran some benchmarks on the X6, and you can see here in Antutu it's getting a fairly low score of 16808. And that's because this is a value box which uses a quad-core A5 based processor. This box seems to be targeted at a price point below $100, so you save more money for the lower performance. The story is the same when you run the Linpack benchmark. This is scoring anywhere between 100 and 128, which is roughly about the same score as the Rockchip 3188 boxes got. Video playback was also inconsistent for me. Here I'm playing some 1080p 60 frame per second video, and it plays pretty good. But a lot of the time during playback of video files, it would pause or hang for a few seconds. Here you can see what I'm talking about, and also occasionally during in full length movies, I couldn't skip forward and backwards using the slider bar. It just would either close the file or nothing would happen when I'd slide it. So video playback is hit and miss. Now streaming video like this YouTube video and also Netflix worked really well on the X6. I think the X6 has good Wi-Fi and so that allows the streaming video to play back nicely. I also tested an H.265 video file and it did play back although I still had some problems with the slider bar. And Netflix played very well and it looked like it was probably about 720p, maybe 480 sometimes. So pretty similar to most of the other Android TV boxes we've seen. Another problem was XBMC. It didn't seem to be working too well. Uh, here you can see the system resources it's using when it's just in idle mode. But the main problem was that 1080p video that was on the SD card, and I have a nice fast SanDisk SD card in, it would just slow down after about 30 seconds and get choppy. So here you can see what I mean, the video on my 1080p MP4 video would get a little bit choppy, and I think maybe the X6 needs a firmware update still. I'm running the most recent firmware right now, but I think we need to get a new one that fixes some of the video issues. Now on the plus side, screen mirroring or mirror casting seems to work really well on here. My Galaxy Note 4 doesn't seem to mirror cast to every device perfectly, but it works great on here. It works nice and fast, and I can even play video off it, although I wouldn't recommend it doing it this way, but that just tells me that the Wi-Fi must be nice and fast in this box to be able to be so uh, without lag like it is. Another cool thing you can do with the mirroring is to project to a big screen TV. So here I'm using the Note 4 with the S Pen and Sketchbook Pro to make a drawing and have it appear on my TV. By the way, this is sped up. And here I'm mirroring a game on my phone onto the big screen TV so that everyone can see it. 
Here's a really cool feature that's coming to a lot of Android boxes now, and especially the Minix boxes. It's the, using the Google TV Remote app, and so you can use your phone as a touchpad and navigate around this way. And this is built into the ROM, so you don't have to do anything except install the app on your phone. This gives you all the buttons that you need, plus you can have a keyboard, and even speech-to-text works pretty well on here. Let me demonstrate. SoundCloud. So the voice to text works pretty nicely on here and here you can see how fast the download speed is. So this is a 13 megabyte file and it downloads it really nice and quick. Okay guys, to wrap it up, if you're looking for an inexpensive player that's made by Minix, this might be your guy. It's still got a few firmware issues to fix up, but other than that it's a nice player with a good selection of ports and hardware. If you're willing to spend $50 more, you can get one of the best Android media players ever made, the Minix Neo X8. The X8's got a much faster processor and all the bells and whistles, but you pay more money for it. Okay, I'll add links to the Neo X6 and the X8H in the description down below, as well as when there's any updates to the firmware, I'll post that down there as well. Thanks again for watching, and as always, aloha.